when when you said when you were mentioning about board games, it made me think that um, to really understand the game, you have to be the dungeon master. And and when you're playing video games, like actual digital video games, the dungeon master is the computer, and 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 you're just being part of the adventure. So uh, right. I totally get why the board games are part of your curriculum. I think it's actually pretty cool. But um, what is the intangible that these that you think students get? Like, what is the power behind these games, and why understanding them um, are gives us tools? What kind of tools do we get from understanding these? It's, uh, that's a good question. I could answer it a million ways. Uh, let me interpret it this way: You're asking about what's uh, what's different about games than, let's say, someone talking to you or reading a book or something like that. What What's different in in a game? And just want to point out something that I think when I say it, everyone will be like, oh, of course. But it's really quite profound. People can learn very, very complicated games, but those same people have difficulty with, uh, you know, understanding a, a newspaper article, let's mm -hmm. say. I've had, I've had students who, you know, they, they're just, they're not the kind of people who are going to dominate a calculus class or a programming class. And yet by the end of my, my board gaming class, they're playing extremely complex systems. So that says something about games and the way that they, they interface with the brain, you know, that they, there's like this miracle of learning that happens with games, mm -hmm. people who you wouldn't expect to be able to master dense material and they do. Right. And it's because of the way games allow you to play with them uh, and interact with them. So that's one sense. Games have this ability to go deep into the brain mm -hmm. and be comprehended by people at a level that, you know, you can't understand books. You can't understand speeches, uh, you know, people talking. And the other thing that is uh, uh, profound about this, it's, it's similar, and that is... Um, there are brilliant people out there, brilliant strategists, and our education system, our meritocracy system completely overlooks them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you think about like the SAT, it measures people's uh, ability to work with words and ability to work with mathematical concepts. Mm -hmm. It doesn't test people's ability to understand problems and strategize. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, my barber, is a brilliant strategist. <laughs> and I know this from, from showing him complicated games and teaching them to him. And then the, the first time we play, he beats me, right? And I know the game before he does. Right. It just happened actually last week. Me and there were three of us and, and Jeff, the barber, he just creamed us and he'd never, <laughs> never seen that game before. And, you know, so how can that be? Now, this is a guy, he's a barber. He owns his own barber shop, but if I gave him the rules, written down rules to the game, he says, I, I can't learn a game that way. I got to have somebody show it to me. Mm -hmm. So something, you know, and so when he, of course, when he was going through school, he wasn't considered like, oh, you know, brilliant Jeff or anything like that. It was just, just, that's just Jeff over there mm -hmm. because the whole business of reading, writing, taking notes and everything, that's not him, but he's a genius. Right? right. So I tell students in my class, it's like, you may have gotten to this point, you know, freshman, sophomore in college, and most of your academic career, you've had people telling you that you're not that bright, not that good. You might be a genius in this area, but our system isn't going to, isn't going right. to promote you on that basis. It's not going to discover you. It's not going to, and, uh, uh, but I know. I will know because we're going to play games in here and we'll find out who's really, really good. <laughs> Thank you.